All right, ladies and gentlemen. So today we're going to be answering some of the questions from some of my loyal, and I mean loyal, Patreon supporters. Um, so we're going to be answering one of those questions, and the other question we're going to be answering is from one of my paying customers where you could just purchase it on my website and you get a question answered. Um, and by the way, tomorrow we're going to be doing a, a live stream on a meditation type live stream on my YouTube channel on my Patreon. So if you guys want to, not, not tomorrow, on Sunday. So if you guys want to attend, become a Patreon supporter. Or if you guys want to attend in person, click on the description down below where it says purchase tickets. It's going to be in New York City. All right. So if you guys want to attend in person, click on the description down below. All right. Um, man, I'm feeling a little sick today, man. Maybe I just had a few. I just had a, I went out last night. So maybe I just went out a little bit too much. Um, all right, so ladies, all right, so let's begin this, okay? Uh, let's see these questions. And by the way, hit the subscribe button. You, how many? I'm talking to you. You know exactly who I'm talking to, man. Why are you not subscribed? Why is it that when you see down there it says subscribe, what are you doing, girl? Hit the subscribe button. Don't make me close this channel, all right? Do it right now, okay? Are you threatening us? Yes, it's a threat, all right? Close the subscribe. I'm closing the channel. All right. So let's begin this. Hi, Alex. I recently had a great first date with a guy. We'd been texting for about a week prior, getting to know each other. The conversation was really great. He set up a first date pretty fast, planned everything, paid for everything. I wasn't expecting it, but he was happy to. He expressed wanting to do a bunch of things in the future, um, making future plans and whatnot. His body language mirrored mine. Um, I didn't get any red flags. We had a lot in common. We had a lot of great conversations. We just, it seemed, we seemed to really hit it off. We shared a kiss at the end of Oh man, so you're gonna tell me you guys got married? Oh man, this is clearly nothing bad happened here. Oh shit, we got you guys can see the the uh, behind the screen people. Oh my god, he's in his fucking room. This whole time I thought he was like in some dojo. <laughs> no, I'm in my room, people. All right, let's continue this. We don't do that, but the vibe felt right, and I felt okay with that. Yeah, um, nothing wrong. Amazing. We both yeah. Agreed we had a great time with each other he told me to text him when i got home i did that we had a brief little conversation i sent a final text i haven't heard anything back from him it's been about two days um so i'm wondering if i got ghosted i know two days is not a long time maybe he got caught up with something but i just want to know if it's possible because i haven't heard anything hello check the news and see if he's in a ditch if somebody's lost or something because let me tell you something man and i'm gonna say this as a guy Anytime I had a good day with a woman, I did not wait. Like, I texted her that day. And I never waited more than 12 hours to respond. That guy's not interested. That guy's not interested. Listen to me. What tells you whether a guy likes you isn't how fun of a time you had. It isn't whether or not, as a guy, you got the poom poom or you as a girl, he told you what you wanted to hear. That's, that, that, that. All of these things are just fireworks. Beautiful fireworks. Beautiful. It, Let's look behind the curtain. And when and the way you look behind the curtain is when you guys are away. What does he do? Does he contact you or does he not? And even if he does contact you, that's still one part of it, right? You guys are not in a relationship, so you're not you're not it's not like you're butthurt. But what I'm saying is that after he called you, the next thing, for example, like it's like it's like some women saying, Oh, he does everything for me. He takes me with his family and his friends, but we're not together. He does everything, but we're not a couple yet. I'm like, okay, so he's giving you everything but the label. That means something. And that means something to him. That's why he's not giving it to you. This also, in this occasion, this guy, is just he just doesn't like you. It's just, it's just that simple. He doesn't like you. Um, why did you guys had a great time? Maybe you don't know his life. He could be he could be on the rebound. He could be kind of gay. He could be uh, he could have low he could have a disease. Seriously, like some disease, like you know, some Maybe he's dying. I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that he is. But I'm just saying there's a lot of reasons why he didn't call you. And at the end of the day, what that says is that he doesn't like you enough to call you. It's just that simple. Why are you guys getting sneak peeks, man? Stop it. I did message him earlier today. Asking how his weekend was going. Oh, so you... It's the end of the day today, and I still haven't heard anything. Is it possible I got ghosted? I'm just wondering why, because the date was just so amazing. The vibes were immaculate. 
we had a great time and I really felt that it was mutual. So I just want to know what's going on, what happened, and if I'm if I'm overreacting and maybe he'll eventually get back to me and maybe he just had a busy weekend. Thank you. I hope you giggled after you, you wrote that message because you, you, you must be trolling. L ladies and gentlemen, look, there's no excuse. I better see you in a hospital bed and I better see the bill, the hospital bill. That's the old, or your rehab facility. I don't give a fuck. This guy doesn't like you. It's not that he's busy. He might tell you that he's busy, right? And, and, and you use that to lie to yourself, like propaganda, self-propaganda to lie to yourself. This guy doesn't like you and you have to move on. He didn't ghost you. He just doesn't like you. Like, there's a difference between ghosting and they're not interested. When you go somewhere, when, when you have a good long term, like two or three months or even like two or three dates, right? But this is not ghosting. This is just, I don't like her. You got to have not high standards, but higher standards. Not in, a neg not in a condescending way. You know what I'm saying? When I mean higher standards, I mean... If he doesn't text you after two after the if he doesn't text you the next day after he told you to text him and he didn't text you get the fuck out of here I'm not texting you no more bitch not you but like you know you me as you telling him like he, this is not a, a problem of of what did I do wrong he just didn't like you that much now you said you felt great chemistry yes but you gotta understand also chemistry is a one way street sometimes sometimes you you feel the chemistry and he doesn't and sometimes the chemistry could be so strong is that you th sometimes chemistry fools you into believing that they also feel what you feel you know what i'm saying it's like if you're cracked out you think everyone is on your same level like it's like no no nah, girl so you got to move on from this okay by the way a rule of thumb this is for people in the beginning of the relationship if he doesn't text you a lot and you want him to text you more, text him less. If you want him, if he doesn't, if he doesn't see you often, you want him to see you more, see him less. If you want him to chase you more, chase him less. That's how it works. Your natural inclination is to do the opposite. But if you guys have been together for a few years, then I would advise that you guys talk about it. But since this is the relationship where you guys are just, you know, getting to know each other, then yeah, like... Like, like, ladies and gentlemen, you never double text. I, I, I mean, seriously, like, it blows my mind, you know? So it's kind of, if he doesn't text you, he's not stupid. He knows. He has his phone. He's just not, he's, it's, it's a decision to not to text you. They're together, they treat me really poorly. Okay, well, well, then why are you even letting them treat you poorly? You see, the, the whole point of this is not to find the right guy. The whole point is to not, is to meet people and disqualify the ones that are treating you like shit. And eventually, you're going to find the right guy through process of elimination. It's not about finding the, wrong, the right guy. It's about eliminating the wrong guy and keep meeting people until you find someone and you, can elim and you cannot eliminate him. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the whole point. So, we got to first raise those standards and stop tolerating being treated poorly and just eliminate them. What are you doing? I mean, seriously. Like... The energy shifts. At first, I, they can't do enough. Then when we are together, they treat me really poorly. And boom, that's when you should start setting standards. And also, when they are to, when we are together, they can't do enough for me. Okay, then slow them down. How about that? Slow them down. If you think they're doing a lot, slow them down because it's a, it's a, it, it shows them that you have self-control. It shows them that you're not super needy. It shows them that you're not looking for anyone's attention. Say, hey, look, I like what you're doing for me, but let's take it a little bit slow. It, it puts them in a, it's almost like a power shift when you do that. It's like, hey, slow down there, man. You're looking a little desperate there. And uh, and that honestly, that's actually a, a very great thing to do, to be honest with you. Um, how do you get the attention and keep it? Well, then sl slow it down. Slow your hot ass down. You're a hot girl, slow it down. Like, you're letting him get, you're letting them go too fast. Have a speed limit. Let them know there are rules, right? So, in fact, letting them slow, telling them to slow down lets them know you have some sort of standards. But letting them do whatever the hell they want, seeing you anytime they want, texting you anytime they want, just say there's no rules here, boo boo. Slow it down. Say, hey, hey, Tyrone, Tyrone, slow down. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'll slow down. Oh, Tyrone will take it real, real slow.
What the hell? Dude, calm down. Calm, calm down, man. Um, so, yeah, man, that's what I would do if I was you. How do you get the attention back and keep it? Yeah, slow it down. Like, seriously, slow it down. And when they disrespect you, pull away. You pull away. You take away your attention so that they, they begin to ask me, how do I get her attention? Why? Like, like that's how it should be. And also, accept this, accept that when some people treat you poorly, it means they don't really like you. That when, when some people are not giving you attention, it's not that you have to do something to gain their attention. It's that you have to pull away. Remember, we're, this is a process of elimination, not of qualification. You eliminate the wrong guys, and by default, if you keep doing that, you're going to find the right guy or you're never going to be in a toxic relationship either or it's a win for everyone. It just is, people. Um, mm -hmm. All right. So anyways, people, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to work with me one on one like these, become a Patreon supporter or if you guys want to check out um, our, our Zoom meeting that we're doing this weekend. Uh, on Sunday at 3 p.m., become a Patreon supporter, and I'll see you guys inside, okay? Anyways, take care. Bye-bye. And by the way, we're having a new course called Emotional Mastery. It's a mindfulness six- to eight-week course that will teach you all of the strategies that I, that I teach here in one course. Ladies and gentlemen, I am so excited for this course. I recorded the first um, section. It's going to take me like three or four months. I've been doing four, four years of research, to be quite honest with you, four or five years of research. Um, for this course, but I've just been procrastinating it. I've been crafting it. I've been trying to make it as perfect as possible. So I want to take my time with this. So if you purchase pre-order right now, you're going to get it at a cheaper price, but also understand that we're going to be releasing it in the summertime. So if you don't hear from me, I didn't, I'm still aware of the course. Okay. I never cheat my customers ever. So always remember that. Um, or you guys can wait till it gets released. All right. I'll see you guys. All right, ladies. So finally, I have released my second course for women, which is natural chemistry. This course is a five week course, five week course where every week you're going to get a new set of videos based on, based on specific issues. The, this course is all about how to create and maintain the attraction in any man. This will help you create love. This will help you deepen the love with your man. This is not about manipulation. This is not about playing games. This is genuine, genuine, natural chemistry no more short-term partners no more being fooled why because i will reveal to you not only how to create attraction in the first week but also how to understand male nature how to understand their tricks how to prevent from being a too attached signs that he's the wrong guy signs that he's a narcissist signs that he's a mama's boy signs that he's an emotionally available guy emotionally unavailable guy we go over everything. We go over this third week, setting boundaries. We go over the third week, controlling your emotions, right? Setting boundaries, fourth week, fifth week, embracing your masculine and the feminine, right? And on top of that, I come, I have over 10 different bonuses, 10 different bonuses, my Lord have mercy, right? With, with a money back guarantee. The bonus are one, the natural chemistry, over 10 hours of content, right? The breakup formula, how to deal with a breakup, right? The connecting with your man, right? Establishing a life of abundance, social mastery, understanding your dark side, the goal setting seminar, which is about how to set and achieve goals, practical mastery that will teach you how to master anything. The laws of human nature. I will come that I have a book club for the laws of human nature where over four hours of content, right? The transformational seminar in a pocket, which is my mindfulness seminar and the chase audiobook. This is a this originally is one thousand eight hundred dollars, but you get it starting at ninety seven dollars, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Ninety seven dollars. We have different packages, but all of this starts at ninety seven dollars. And you know what? You can check it out for free if you want. Yeah. For all the freeloaders, I have free videos just for you free videos all right so you can just check it out for free and then you could get out nothing wrong with that all right so and on top of that it comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee no questions asked that's right no questions asked i don't mind i just want you guys to check it out because i know when you take one look you're gonna want to buy it i can promise you just like my other course um the psychological the psychological game of attraction it was a hit you're gonna love this one this one is not about manipulation this is genuine natural chemistry order it now all right i'll see you guys inside peace out